Hi everyone, so today I'm back with another makeup tutorial for you all and yesterday I tweeted out two photos of Gigi Hadid and I asked you guys which one you would like me to do a look on and this one was the most popular so this is kind of like the look I'm going for today and here's like a closer view. I'm pretty sure she wore this to the Met Gala. So Gigi was wearing the most beautiful red dress so I thought I'd kind of wear a um, red top today to kind of match the theme but you know, I don't have that dress so... So to start off this tutorial, I'm going to be mixing my Rimmel Match Perfection um, foundation and my L'Oreal True Match because you guys know this is my favourite foundation, but then I've also really been liking this at the moment, so... And I'm just going to blend that in with my Nanchi Stippling Brush because I haven't used this in so, so long and it's an amazing brush. So yeah, I'm going to use it today because it gives like a really flawless finish and that's what we want for this makeup look. I'm so ahead of like my filming schedule when I'm filming this because today is the 3rd and this video should be going up on the 13th so I am prepared, <laughs> which is so unlike me. So for concealer I'm going to be using the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer and I'm just going to be using the more peachy shade in this first and then I'm going to go over with another concealer. Because this one's peachy tones it's going to kind of erase any of that um, dark blue under my eyes and then I'm going to go in with a normal coloured concealer just to extra cover it. I'm also going to put this on my eyelid to erase any veins that I have and I'm just going to go over that with my Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eye Eraser. I've really been liking this at the moment and I also used it in my last tutorial so yep I'm really liking this at the moment and I'm just blending this in with my finger because this kind of really helps to heat up the product and melt it into your skin which makes it look really really flawless and the powder I'm using to set that all is of course my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder this is just really great and yeah I've spoke about it enough on my channel so I'm gonna stop now and I'm just using a Nanchi powder brush to kind of pack that on and then I'm gonna take my Real Techniques contour brush and just set my under eyes as usual. So for brows, Gigi doesn't do anything too dramatic with hers, so I'm just gonna quickly go in with my Naked palette and I'm gonna take the shade Naked on a eyebrow brush and I'm just gonna quickly fill these in because Gigi doesn't have like HD brows or anything. So I'm just gonna make them look as natural as possible. And I'm gonna make sure to concentrate most of the product on my arch of my eyebrow because Gigi has a little bit more of an arch than me, so I'm just gonna apply a bit more product there. I think that's probably the most natural I'm gonna get so I'm just gonna leave it like that and kind of just brush other products so it looks more soft and then I'm gonna move on to the other brow. So now they are all filled in I'm gonna go in with my Tweezer Man brow mousse and just set them in place so they don't move anywhere. So in the photo I can't really see much of Gigi's um, eyeshadow but what I can see is that there is some like peachy kind of toned um, colour in the crease and then there's a bit of white on the eyelid so I'm going to go in with my um, Revealed 3 palette from Coastal Scents and I'm just firstly going to take the white colour of the palette and I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid. I'm also going to take that colour up into my brow bone and in my inner corner. Now I'm going in with the peachy kind of colour of the palette which is next to the white and I'm just going to run this through my crease because I can see Gigi has this type of colour in her crease. So now I've done that I'm going to go in with my original Urban Decay Naked palette and I'm just going to take the shade Virgin because I feel like that white we used in the other palette wasn't very pigmented so I'm just going to go in with this and put this all over my lid where I didn't put that other shade. Then I'm again going to go in with that peachy colour and just kind of run it through my crease again just to make sure everything is blended. So now I'm going to go on to eyeliner and the eyeliner I'm using is again the NYX The Curve because this is like my favourite eyeliner at the moment and Gigi also has like a eyeliner going all across her eyelid and in the picture she doesn't have too much of a wing so I'm not going to kind of wing it out lots, I'm just going to kind of you know stop it at the end of my eye so fingers crossed this goes well. <laughs> So I feel like that kind of actually went okay, wow. So now I'm going to apply a tiny bit of the Lash Sensational by Maybelline um, before we put on our false lashes, just so they have something to kind of grip to. So I'm sorry if the angle has changed, I just had to quickly go and grab some tweezers. Um, but I'm going to be applying these lashes, I think they're from Red Cherry, but I'm not quite sure of the name of them. I don't think they're the 523 lashes, but um, I'll link them down below for you guys because I can't remember off the top of my head. I honestly need to go on a huge like eyelash spending spree soon because these are like my last pair of eyelashes that actually look quite decent so so I'm sorry if they're not like perfect but these are the only ones I have close to me right now and yeah. Ok 
Okay, so I just lost my eyelash and I think I had like a mini heart attack. I thought I didn't bring the other lash with me. Whew, that was scary. As this video is going up, my other makeup tutorial, like my last video, hasn't even gone up yet. So I don't know if you guys are liking like the talk through makeup tutorials or not. But, but yeah, so I hope you guys are liking them and I'll definitely do more of them because they're very relaxing to film. I hate it when the inner corner of an eyelash doesn't stick down. It's the most annoying thing. So now my eyes are done, it's time to move on to bronzer, blush, and highlight, and I'm going to give you guys a second to guess which bronzer I'm using. Of course I'm using my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion, if you guessed that then you were like a dedicated viewer because I really really like this bronzer if you didn't already know. <laughs> and also Gigi was quite bronzed in this photo so I'm going to put quite a bit of bronzer on. Also I look super pale in red so... I'm going to put on a bit more than I should. <laughs> so now bronzer is done, I'm going to move on to blush. And the blush I'm using is the MUA Blusher in Bon Bon. And this is like the prettiest pink colour. And also Gigi had quite a lot of blush on in this photo. So I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks. And a little bit on my temples and a tiny bit on my nose. Because that's where I like to put my blusher. And for highlighter, I'm going to be using the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. And I'm just going to put a bit of this on my fingers and kind of apply this to my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, my nose. And I think that's it. Look how pretty that colour is. Like, wow. This is actually my first time using this product, so um, hopefully this goes well. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too keen on the highlighter, so I'm going to go in with my number 7 um, Radiant Spheres highlighter, just because I know this one is like amazing. Yeah, that looks much better. Again, as usual, I'm gonna take the white of the palette and I'm just gonna run this down the center of my nose because in the photo, Gigi actually looked like she had this, well, not this, but she had highlighted down the center of her nose. So I'm just going to be doing that as well. So for the lips, firstly, I'm going to be applying my NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil in Soft Fuchsia. And this is quite similar to what Gigi was wearing in the photo. So I'm just gonna put this all over my lips and then I'm gonna go over with a gloss. So once that's done, I'm gonna go in with the same lip gloss I used in my previous video, which is the L'Oreal Paris Cream Gloss in 103 protest queen and this is the nicest nudie pink so I think it really suits this look and it mostly looks like Gigi has a gloss in the middle of her lips so I'm just going to be applying it here and then rubbing together so I tried to make my hair look like Gigi's but I don't think it really worked because I'm not a professional with hair I can do makeup okay but hair is just not my thing so so yeah this is the complete makeup look inspired by Gigi Hadid it would be much appreciated if you guys could tweet this video to her because I'd really like her to see it and yes, yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And also comment down below more celebrity looks that I could do. And yeah, I look forward to reading through all of them. So all of my social media is down in the description. So my Twitter, my Instagram, my Tumblr, and my Snapchat. So you can go follow me on all of them if you want to. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And I will see you in my next one. I'm gonna be